Good afternoon, I'm Susan McCord. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is, should I be honest on the first date if I'm not interested in someone? There's so much ghosting going on today and the biggest reason for this is because people aren't being honest. They'd rather just walk away and not say anything at all and maybe even lead somebody on a little bit because they're not being honest about it. It's so much better if you can find a way to gently express to someone that thanks so much, we had a, I had a great time, I just didn't feel a connection, I felt something was missing. It's not anybody's fault that you don't feel a connection, it's just a chemical thing. If you don't have it, you don't have it. But if somebody's sitting there thinking the date went really well and you're going to be contacting them again, Obviously something went on during that time that they thought was a pretty good fit. So it's always a good idea, I personally feel this, is to walk away with your head held high enough to respect the person and yourself and be honest about it. Just say, I really enjoyed your company, I just don't feel a spark. I, there's something that isn't quite there. When someone takes the time to be honest and gentle with what maybe wasn't going on on the date and let you know, it is a lot better thing for you to know because then you can move forward with some, at least some acknowledgement as to what went on. Okay, what, what didn't they see in me or what didn't I see in them? And you can sort of put that into perspective. If somebody just walks away and you think it was a good date and you never hear from them again, that kind of hurts when it happens over and over again. It gets to the point where you're feeling like, what am I doing wrong? I can tell you, you're probably not doing anything wrong. It's just a matter of a chemical imbalance. They don't feel this super attraction towards you for whatever reason. We all have different tastes in what we want in a person. It doesn't mean that you're not good enough or that they're being an asshole. It just means it wasn't a good connection. And when you know that, it is easier to move on because you understand. It's perfectly normal that you're not going to click with everyone. It's, you don't go out and marry the first person you date when you're 17. I mean, some people do, but it's not the norm. So you're going to have things that don't mesh. And, and also think about it for your own sake. What if you decide that you're out with somebody and they are really interested in you and you're not with them? You can learn from how somebody told you and then it helps move things along. You're not walking away being rude to somebody or disrespectful. You're treating them like a human being. You're treating them with respect enough just to say to them, I'm sorry, I just didn't feel the spark. I'm looking for this passionate spark or whatever it is you wanna to say to them. But not talking to them again and you had a fairly decent date with them it's kind of hurtful. I just think it's always better just to say. And it is difficult to do so, but once you get the hang of it, it's not so bad because it's not like you're telling them they're a terrible person. You just don't feel connected in the way you would like. And that's okay. We all deserve to know the truth. And it teaches us how to receive things like this and how to be mature about how we handle it. So I absolutely agree with dating a lot of people, getting to know the type that you're looking for. Don't go into every single date thinking, well, this is the one, or you're frustrated because you've been dating so much, and um, is it ever going to change? It will change when you learn some of the lessons and listen to some of the things that are said on the date. Also, some of the things that you're saying to the person if you're not interested in them. These are all great attributes to have when you are looking for a partner and you're ready to be in a relationship. It's so much better to, to be honest about what you're looking for and, and knowing, knowing what you're looking for is the biggest part. And if you can turn to somebody and say, I'm sorry, I just don't feel it, you're one step closer to getting to the person you are ready to meet. And that's huge because so many people don't know what they're looking for. They don't know the type of person they want. And so they do go blindly into all these different dating patterns trying to figure it out. So if you know in the first date, you just say, yeah, I just 
don't feel it. Be honest about it and move on because then you're not going to be sitting here having to feel bad all the time that you've, you haven't got back to somebody, you haven't told them the truth, you've maybe led them on a little bit that you were going to call and then you didn't call. These things are not good and it's so much more hurtful for the person sitting there waiting for your call because they thought things were good. They thought things were going well. So the more honest you are up front in the first couple of dates with somebody, the better. And it makes them feel like at least they're not sitting there questioning what the hell happened. This is so important for many people who are dating because this is why everybody's getting so frustrated. Everybody's just walking away. Nobody's talking. Everybody just ghosts each other. They don't give a crap about how that other person feels. This is so wrong. Watch for patterns. Are you dating very similar people and you're getting the same response all the time? Are they just walking away? Are they not saying anything? You're not getting past the first date. Dating is a, is a big learning curve and if you're really open and you're not, you don't get defensive about it, you can learn a lot very quickly. But you have to be really smart and listen and watch and everything. Ask questions. If you're confused about maybe you're not doing something that you feel you could be doing better, you can talk to them about it. Just say, you know, what type of person uh, are you interested in? Get, get to hear what other people are looking for because maybe there's something that you're doing that is just needs a little bit of a refresher. You know, sometimes we just do the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. And we all know how that works out, right? So learn as much as you can. Don't get upset if somebody tells you they didn't feel a connection. I think it's great because at least you know you're not gonna be sitting there every day waiting for the phone to ring because they're not going to be calling you. At least you know why they're not going to be calling you and you can move on and try another avenue, meet some other people. But make sure when you're dating that you're not always going to the same type of people and repeating the patterns of what isn't working because that's where it becomes a big, big problem. People get frustrated, they get pissed off, they get to the point where they just give up. And don't give up, just learn little things as you go. But if you're honest on your dates, if you're not interested in somebody, you tell them. Just be as, as gentle as you possibly can to deliver the message. Thanks so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please leave any comments you have below. Click like on the video. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd love it if you could do so. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.